So blood is brought to the renal corpuscle through the afferent arterial. It's going to flow through what is called the glomerulus. This is a ball of leaky capillaries. The blood pressure is going to push out everything except your formed elements and your large molecules. The filtrate will get caught in this space here between the visceral layer and the parietal layer of the glomerular capsule or the Bowman's capsule. That filtrate is then going to travel down the proximal convoluted tubule. So over here we can see here's our renal corpuscle. Here's our proximal convoluted tubule because it's close to the corpuscle and it's curvy. And then if the filtrate is going to travel down the loop of nephron, nephron loop or loop of Henle, all same structure. And then it will travel through the distal convoluted tubule. As the filtrate is going through this tubular system, we are reabsorbing things back into the blood or we are secreting things into the tubules. The, after the distal convoluted tubule, whatever is left is going to go into the collecting duct. We can still pull stuff from the collecting duct if needed. Once it goes out the papillary duct, then it becomes urine. From the papillary duct, we will drain into the minor calyx, the major calyx, the renal pelvis, and then the ureter will take it to the bladder.